In this video, I'm going to discuss problems 9 through 16 from the Chapter 2 exam review. So in these problems, we're told to write the slope-intercept form of, of the equation of each line. So in 9 through 12, we'll be given a graph, and in 13 through 16, we'll be given some information about the line, and then we'll go ahead and write the equation that way. So on number 9, we have our graph. So we need to find the slope and we need to find the y-intercept. Well, typically the y-intercept is pretty easy to find because it's crossing the y-axis right there at 5. So I'm going to say b is 5 because the y-intercept is given by the letter b. Uh, recall that our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So I'll go ahead and take a second and write that stuff in. So y-intercept. So whenever we find the y-intercept, in this case the letter b, it's right up here at 5. So the other thing we need to find is the slope. So we need to find a couple of places here where it looks like the line crosses at a grid section. So it looks like right here we've got a point, right here we've got a point, here and here, and then up there as well on our y-intercept. But it looks like these are all nice and evenly spaced. So in the previous video we talked about finding slope, and it looks like this one's up 2 over 1. So up 2 over 1. And they're all that way. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. So it looks like my slope is a positive 2 over a positive 1, which will be given as just 2. So now we have these two pieces of information. We have our b, which is our y-intercept. We have our m, which is our slope. So we can go ahead and we can write the equation. So y equals 2, which is our slope, x, plus 5, and 5 is our y-intercept. So right there is the answer to number 9, the slope-intercept form of the equation, y equals 2x plus 5. In number 10, we're given another line here, so we need to find the, the y-intercept, which it looks like it's going right through the origin, and we need to find the slope. So we need to find some other points besides right here where it looks like it's crossing really nice. Well, not there, not there, 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 Ooh, right there on the edge it looks like it is. And I bet if we went back this way, we would find, yep, yeah, right there the corner it is again. So we have three points to choose from. So let's just go from here to here. So we'll go down, one, two, three, four, five. So down five. And then over, one, two, three, four. So over four. So I know my slope is going to be given as negative five-fourths. And from this origin business here, I know my b value, or my y-intercept, will be zero. So if we're going to put this equation in y equals mx plus b form, I have my value of m and I have my value for b, which will be y equals negative 5 fourths x plus 0. But, you know, whenever we have this plus 0 stuff, we just leave him off. So we'll write y equals negative 5 fourths x. And right there will be the equation of this line. In number 11, it looks like we have a horizontal line here. So the y-intercept is 2, so I can say b equals 2. And what's the slope here? Well, we learned from the first video, uh, we re reminded ourselves that the slope of all horizontal lines is 0. So we can write 0. So we can tackle this problem two ways. We can note that the general equation of every horizontal line is y equals the y-intercept, and that would be what we can do. Or we could go ahead and put it in y equals mx plus b form, except that m is 0, right? So we'll have 0x plus 2. So really that stuff goes away, and we're left with y equals 2. If we use just the y equals the y-intercept general form of every horizontal line, we would note that the y-intercept was 2, so we would say y equals 2. Well, notice that's the same exact answer that we had before, but before we threw in this zero for the slope, but the zero kind of made it all go away anyway. So number 11 is a horizontal line, and the equation is y equals 2. In number 12, we have a vertical line, 
And we learned from the previous video that the slope of every horizontal line, I'm sorry, vertical line, is undefined. So we know in this case, since it's a vertical line, that our slope is undefined. Now we also can recall from learning in class that the equation for every vertical line is x equals the x-intercept. Okay, so what is the x-intercept? Well, looks like it's crossing here at negative 2, so my equation should be x equals negative 2. So number 12 is a vertical line whose equation is x equals negative 2. Now in problems 13 through 16, we're just given a little bit of information here, and we're going to go ahead and write the slope-intercept form of the equation. So if I know the slope is 8 thirds on number 13, and the y-intercept is negative 3, the slope is m, the y-intercept is b, and if we're talking about putting it in y equals mx plus b form, well, it looks like all we've got to do is substitute the 8 thirds there, and then the negative 3 there, so it should be y equals 8 thirds x, and then since this is negative, I'm not going to put plus, I'm going to put minus 3 just like that. So number 13, y equals 8 thirds x minus 3. So on number 14, we have the slope as negative 2 and the y-intercept as 0. So if I was to put this in y equals mx plus b form again, my m gets my negative 2, my b gets my 0, but we learned from before that we don't really care about that plus zero business. So we'll write y equals negative 2x. And that will be the answer for number 14, y equals 2x. In number 15, we have the slope is 0 and the y-intercept is 4. So slope of 0 will be m and the y-intercept will be b. So if we put it in y equals mx plus b, we'll notice y equals 0x plus 4. But this whole 0x stuff just cancels out because it's all 0. So we don't really care about it. So it's just y equals 4. Well, that looks like the equation for a horizontal line. But we knew that was going to be horizontal because the slope was 0. So number 15 is a horizontal line whose equation is y equals 4. The last problem in this set is number 16. It says the slope is negative 1 and the y-intercept is negative 1. So this will be m, this will be b, y equals mx plus b. <clears throat> so y equals negative 1x minus 1. And again, we won't put the plus a negative 1, we'll just put minus 1. But we don't really like to see that 1 if it's a slope because we don't need to put it there. So we'll just put y equals negative x minus 1, and that'll be the slope-intercept form for number 16, y equals negative x minus 1.